our guest tonight. Uh, if you don't know, you're about to know, is uh, a member of, of Brand Nubian, has one of the most unique voices in hip hop history. His career spans over three decades and he is still going, which I love that. I love artists that are still going, putting out quality music. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Boom Bap Chat. Yeah. The one and only Sadat X. Yeah. Peace, 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 peace. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What up? Yo, it's good, fam. I didn't see. We we all got kids in the background tonight, man. Oh yeah, so, oh yeah. yeah. You already know. You already know. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, welcome to the show, man. How's your day been? Hey, man, it's been good, man. I'm glad to be here. Great, man. Glad to have you, man. We were just kind of reminiscing over some brand new Bian albums warming up the uh, the room. So okay, okay, that's what's up. Yeah. So I'm uh, before I swing it over to my man Bo Brown for the first question. I just wanted to say that you know, as a kid, I remember begging my mom to get me the brand new being tape the one for yes, all and she did she got it for me and been rocking with you know you and brand new being uh since so just want to say thank you for you know the decades of quality music and material and the inspiration you've given us hey appreciate you. man i'm glad i'm still here appreciate yeah no yeah. doubt no doubt all right i'm gonna I'm throw it over uh introduce to my man bo brand for the first question Bo, take it away. yeah man it's it's such a blessing and and pleasure to you get to talk to you and have this opportunity like a hip-hop legend god mc like i'm just i don't want to butter you up too much but <laughs> much, much respect thank um, you thank you <laughs> i you know i've been following your career not just music for a long time and you've done a lot of really uh admirable things and it's i don't know that you do it to be admired it's just who you are you volunteer for coaching you're a teacher um you really have a heart for for young people and yeah. um and theology like you you've taught me so much and it seems like your attention uh moves from one thing to the next and you master those things and, and then you move on so i'm kind of wondering like uh not that you necessarily move on and leave things alone but you move on to to other things and so i'm wondering like what's capturing your attention these days what are you what are you in the midst of mastering these days? Well, you know, I'm still trying to master this music game. That's first and foremost. I'm always, regardless of what I'm doing, I'm always making some music. So that's like first and foremost. But uh, right okay. now, actually, I'm working in a, in a hospital, Duke Raleigh Hospital. I'm working in um in a part of the hospital called Sterile Processing. And, you know, what we do, first of all, I got certified for it. I went to school for it. So um, what we do basically is make sure that the... Uh, that the instruments that I use for surgery are clean. You know, like if your mother got to go for surgery or your daughter got to go to surgery, it comes to us first. So, you know, it's a, um, it's a rewarding job it's for the simple fact is, you know, like you, you really place in your hands and you, they're, they're placing their, 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 their life in your hands, so to speak. You know, you got to get these, these things clean. Cause trust me, if they get up to the operating room and the doctors go through it and they, and, they, and it's not clean, they're going to send it back downstairs and then they're going to be beefing with you. I've seen doctors tear, tear heads off down there. So, you know, plus really? I do it with the intent, like if it was my mother or sister or, yeah. or daughter, I would want somebody to take the, the other most care in doing that also but um how i got into that is basically during the pandemic you know um mm -hmm. shows were slowing down so i just was looking for something to fill the void fill the time you know i wasn't that's when i had just basically got down here to carolina i wasn't going back up and up top because the travel was limited you know so i i i met somebody who was working at the hospital and then um I don't know. I just saw Ad and he told me to fill one out, you know, so I I, I filled out resume because at first I was doing patient transport. You mm -hmm. know, that's that's actually getting the patients to the rooms and, you know, making sure they're situated. And um, a friend of mine was like, look, if you get certified, there's a job right here. It pays a little something. Plus, you can advance in it. And, you know, you can still do your music full time, you know. So um, I, start, I went to school for it. You know, it was a six months course. You know, you had to you had to pass a test to become certified. So now I'm certified. I can work here. I can work in New York. I can work in Mount Sinai. I can work in any hospital in this country. You know, I'm certified in Duke. Where I work at Duke Raleigh is recognized as one of the top hospitals. So, you know, yeah. just another 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 plume to add to my hat. You know what I'm saying? To just to, you know, to stay well rounded. Yeah, I love that. I I will also work in the healthcare space uh in technology. So I I really I know that that's an, such an important role to play uh, in sterilization. Like yeah. one of the days somebody figured out if we clean this stuff, 
people don't die. Yeah. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah. figured it out and it's, 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 it's many methods now. Like I, I even actually learned how to clean them. Like usually we put them through the machines. Like we, you know, we, we put them through the machines, but if the machine breaks down off, off the scopes, have to be cleaned i i even know how to do it manually now you know so if, if this because one of the machines broke down one day and they needed three scopes upstairs and i had to just clean them out manually it's a little more tedious you know you got to put a little bit more you know into it and, and and attention to it but you know i got it done yeah well i heard you talking about it on your on your latest album and yeah. I, I was like i want to know the story so i appreciate yeah. that yes that's what's up no question yeah right on Thank you, Bo. You know, we have another co-host, Ayamas Marad, who, who is not on with us right now, but okay. uh, might be in a little bit. But he's right. uh, he's a big fan of yours, and he was going to ask you about some early Brand Nubian. Uh, okay. I wanted to ask you uh, just a little follow-up. Uh, you were on the Mad Skills podcast uh, at some point, and not a question, but I just love that you talked about the value of work. And yeah. how you're not afraid to work. And not a, not that you're not even afraid of work. Like you talk about it. Like you're, yeah. just, you're proud of it, which I think is really dope. Yeah, man. And it's like when, when, when you look at the world, you know, or United States or wherever you want to look like the, the majority of the population works. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's very few people that are afforded the luxury of not working, you know. So yeah. and I try to impress upon people like, you know, like, trust me, I know dudes in my era, different eras that they want to they want to keep this facade of everything is going well. And I know it's not going <laughs> right. Well. Yeah. You understand? I know that for a fact. I would never allow nobody out like that. But I know sure. it's twisted. And it's like, you know, until rap gets a certified union with a certified pension, at some point, you know, I'm not saying that you got to ever stop rapping. I'm just saying right. at some point you still got to figure out a way to make some money. Right. You understand? To pay these bills. The bills don't yeah. stop, you know? Yeah. And it's yeah. like with me, I'm a, a, I'm, a, I'm a morning person, so I'm up early. I work from 7 to 3.30. When I get there in the morning, being that I'm the first one there, I make sure all of the tank filled and, and and all like everything is in in the right position that might take me to about nine okay. the really work don't start coming down to about 11 or so but by, by 3 15 i'm packing up and i'm out of there i'm out at yeah. 3 30 so it's, it's an easy gig yeah that's a good gig give you some mm -hmm. flexibility to do some music definitely uh, so, yeah so i wanted to go back um you know one of my favorite favorite groups uh when you all came out was de la soul and tropical quest the whole native tongues you show up on show business on the low oh, yeah. Theory, which was one of my favorite songs from my favorite albums so i wanted to ask you about that what was what how did that song come together and what was that like doing that that song oh the the, the show business with tim yeah the show business yeah well yo he it, it, it yo we was all together man it was like you know at that point Brand new man was doing a lot of shows with Daylight. We were doing shows with Tribe, and everybody vibe, man. You know, like it, it, it's it's hopefully it's coming back around to that, man. But like, and when we were doing it, man, like if somebody had a session, if Daylight had a session, or Jazz had a session, or somebody had to say, you just might casually stop by, you know, and and right. chill, you know, add to the ambiance, of the, uh, the ambiance of the room, you know, and uh, you, we became cool, and uh, he had a joint. He was like, yo. You know, I need everybody to come get on it. And Pooba was actually supposed to be on that song too, but he, he didn't make the session. So that's why he's not on it. But uh, you know, it like it was a friendship. We did shows when uh when when me and Jamal was coming out with In God We Trust, we did a lot of shows with Daylight. We went on tour with Daylight. So, you know, we um we always had love. Yeah. So, that tribe, yep. Yeah. So the native tongues, I there's been back and forth I see on message boards, Facebook and stuff about who is and who isn't in the native tongues. And I've seen arguments over y'all brand Nubian. Some people say y'all were in, in native tongues. Some people say you weren't. Did you ever see yourselves as a member of the native tongues? Well, I would say we might be an auxiliary member because our brand Nubian stands on our own. You know, we yeah. still, we 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 be connected with a lot of people, you know, but uh we we basically stand on our own. But we are auxiliary members of the of, of the the um the whole movement, you know, yeah. and uh glad to be affiliated with them. All of them are very good friends, but you know, brand Nubian stands on its own. Yeah, were you able to, to check out the um the dedication today that they did at Webster Hall? 
No, I seen parts, but I had to work, Carson. so I couldn't really okay. actually get up there. But I, I heard it was a beautiful thing, man. It yeah, was, I, so from all the people I saw, it was beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful, man. We were the three of us, uh, another friend of ours. We were all kind of watching it in, in, in our little texting group, like texting each other, you know, about moments that were happening. It was mm. really cool to see. I kept on waiting, like, oh man, maybe we'll see brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would have been, been pretty dope. <laughs> that would have been dope. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. um one of one of my favorite albums of all time is is this one right here. Uh for the people that can see it. This is okay. Wild Cowboys by Santa Definitely. Pets. Love this album. The way you picked it, were you the one that picked all the beats on this album? Oh, yeah, definitely. You already know, definitely. Mm -hmm. man, your, your ear for beats on this album is just impeccable, man. Yeah, Every man. Beat I was, on there. Yeah, now you know that was a Bronx time. I was living in back in the Bronx then. Um you know, everybody on that album is basically Bronx. You know, uh, yeah. on the covers, my my good friends who I'm still with to this day, Alamo Spark is on there. My man Hap, Sean Black. That was 30 years ago, and we still friends to this oh, day. Oh, that's dope. That's you know, dope, um, man. had a lot of DITC influence. You know, being that uh, my family is from Melrose, uh, Concourse Village, but then you got Diamond. And, and 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 from Melrose and I mean Diamond from Forest and you you know everybody's all in the road. You got you got AG from Patterson, you know, which is right up the block from where we all at. So it was like a straight line all the way down the Bronx. Yeah, that's <laughs> dope, man. I love that. I love that. And it and someone pointed this out. Can you tell the people who was the the person interviewing you on the uh the inter what was the song called the, the interview the interview yeah. that was yeah, the uh, interview actually that was Regina Hall yeah actually, Regina Hall, Regina Hall. we yeah. lived we lived together for seven years and that's what I'm you know uh she had uh been out of out of school a couple of years at Fordham University at that time and she would come with me to the studio and I needed her to do it that day and she more than stepped in and filled the bill. I love that song. I love that beat, man. That beat miners beat the, the way that bass. Yeah, yeah, rides yeah, along. yeah, yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. So I'm curious to know, like, if you went back later tonight and you sat down and you listened to that entire album all the way through again, what do you think that would like how do you think you would respond? How would it resonate with you? What feelings would come up? Well, now well, well to it, it? it resonates a lot because I still play that to this day. Like when mm. I'm in the gym, I still play joints on there, the joint with Money Boss, you know, that, yeah. was, that was, that's my people, Minnesota and the Money Boss, you know, Petty People, uh, Move On. Yes. It, it, it was, it was just a bunch of joints on there. I was in a good flow. Diamond oh. would come through and hit me, uh, Showbiz, you know, Father Time, you know, Minnesota. They was, it was all in a line. Yeah, and you know people talk about the 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 beat Pete Rock did for Nas and A Z and, and other MCs, but I think one of his best beats is on here, man. Escape from New York. Oh, yeah, I, I do that at shows to this day. I still do that joint. That mm -hmm. beat is so and it, yeah, that's just such a great song. Love that joint. Okay. Question. All right, we, we got profound back. We got we got uh sound yeah. profound. Technical difficulties is hip hop, bro. Yeah, you, know, hip -hop. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> man. <laughs> All right. Bro, man, I want to throw yeah. to you, man. I, I know you have a question for Sadat. Yeah, yeah. Peace, brother Sadat, man. Peace, you peace. know, Sadat, man. Hey, I just wanted to know, man, because I'm God body myself and I came through the nation. I'm from Chicago um, originally. You know, I was uh, walking around the ranks in like 98, 97 and 98. Okay. I just wonder where did uh, where did your name come from? I know where the X is from. All right. Well, you know, well, like, well know a lot of name. people say I took it from Anwar Sadat, which was partly true, but I just liked the name and I was able to build mm -hmm. on the Savior Allah, divine Allah truth, you know, nice. so I was able to build on it and I, I liked the name and um, I, I, I took it from that. But part of it was with Anwar Sadat, then the X is for the unknown, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. I, I just put it through that. Yeah. Dope, 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 respect, dope. To, respect to Anwar Sadat for sure. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, and my, yeah. my second question, man, is because uh, I've been a fan since, you know, when y'all dropped uh, One for All, I was a sophomore in high school. OK. Um, So, you know, I was aware and I was just trying to get into the, you know, knowledge of myself and understanding. And at the same time y'all dropped, I was just gifted with the autobiography of Malcolm X that mm. same year. So I'm just, you know, I just appreciate where y'all where y'all are and where y'all were then because y'all definitely was a lifeline for me and my direction and where I went in my life, yeah. you know, and I just appreciated that. I just wanted to know, like, today, you still doing it today. Do you are you doing it for yourself today more so or do you do it for your children today or you know what I mean? Like, what's the what's the what's the um what's the motivation today? All right. Well, first of all, the motivation of today is that I still love hip hop. 
Mm. I'm still a fan. I can still listen to somebody do a song and be like, damn, I wish I would have did that. Or <laughs> man, like, oh, he killed that, man. I wish I, I, I wish I did that, you know? So I'm still a fan of hip hop. I, I still love it. You understand? I, I love to, to write. I love to perform. You know, I, I love the entertainment part of it. And that was came back from, from growing up, you know, because I remember when Brand Nubian came out, that was a time, a, re, a, a reawakening of Black consciousness, so to say. You know, it was a lot of events that had happened, especially in New York. You know, you had the, uh, when, when the guy got hit, uh, beat up, killed out there in uh, Queens. And um, I forgot it. I can't think of his name right now. But that was like a big scandal. Then you had like a lot of awareness. You know, you had Spike Lee coming to his own, make, making those type of movies. Malcolm X movie came out. You know, you saw brothers wearing the beads and going back to to the, to the guard, man, and, and, and becoming... Uh, becoming aware of themselves again. Cause you know, like it was coming out of that, 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 that crack era. You understand? So mm. it had to be something to awaken the people and get them back on point again. And I think that, you know, kind of helped in, in raising and in, in promoting the consciousness again. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah. It's super dope. I, I, enjoy, I'm thoroughly enjoyed that, that era of hip hop. You know, yeah. it's very positive and yeah, very challenging. So really, really appreciate your part and Brand Nubian's part, you know, into that. You you mentioned that you you still rock with hip hop, still love it. Are there artists today that like newer artists that you rock with that you really enjoy? Yeah, but like, you know, I'm always off key. So I'd like dudes like Rock Marcy, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Knowledge of the Pirate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them yeah. type of dudes. I, I, I saw the come up of Griselda. You know, I went to Damn. I went to Buffalo to do a song with Conway when we did that song town we did that in buffalo so i like them and then you know i like a lot of the young boys too it's just that i guess you know it's the yin and the yang it's just like this hip-hop thing has become so so advanced and modernized that it's 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 kids coming out every day with something yeah, where yeah. the whole overall volume of it i just Maybe it's me being old and I just can't keep up with it all. You know, it's like <laughs> I, I listen to songs sometimes and my daughter's like, that's not the person. Like, this is another person. I'm like, well, it sounds kind of like that person. So, you know, yeah. I'm 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 a, I, but I do like the J. Coles. You know what I'm saying? I like Kendrick and I like Tyler, the creator, who I think is dope, man. I think he's really dope. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, I like a lot of those type of artists. Yeah, that's dope, man. I Before I throw it over to Bo. Uh, to ask about your new album. Uh, I did want to ask you about, you know, you mentioned Griselda, Rock Marcy, and like, you know, your era, like it was a lot of like positivity, um, a lot of, you know, religious spirituality mixed in. And a lot of cats like Rock, you know, Griselda, they have a lot of a lot of violent content in their lyrics. And, and you know, something that me and my, my buddy Ayo Moss, and I know Profan, were like things that we've talked about, like, oh man, what, mm, I don't know, like, I love this music. But then he's talking about, you know, killing another man. It's like, ah, how do you, when you hear lyrics like that from, from Cass, you rock with, like, do you have that type of uh, response as well? Or it's like, ah, there's just Well, like sometimes, but you know, it's it's not my place to try to dictate what they write and, sure, and yeah. the emotion of it. And, you know, some of the stuff maybe I might not choose to do. Right. And, and I think a lot of it, man, is like due to the times that we live in, you know, I guess, you know, it's kind of it's kind of cloud. I wouldn't say cloud the judgment, but it's 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 kind of dictated sometimes that it does go that way. But you know, like I said, like I think everything is it comes full circle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like for instance, when I when I when I used to hear a lot of the, the, the what's the guy now in Atlanta, little baby stuff. Yeah, you know, his stuff. At first, when I was hearing it, I was like, oh, you talking about this that. But then I heard a positive joint that he did. Mm. It's, they did that positive song, and I was like, well. He is showing that he got a brain and it's functional. So if he can, <laughs> if he can do a joint like that, then then all is not lost. Definitely. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, I like that. And giving people space to be themselves. Yeah. I think Bo said this space to be themselves and space to grow. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toss it over to Bo uh, for a question about your new album. No problem. Yeah. Peace, God. I, yeah. I uh, man, I really loved this album. Um, and <laughs> had a lot of questions about like Doughboy and the connections, uh, the connection that you have with him and how that came about. Okay. Uh, because 
I mean, his his beats are just so on point. And my perception is that he's a young younger guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So could you talk a little bit about that relationship? Well, well, first of all, you know, I met um I met Doughboy. It was an open mic down here in, in North Carolina. And I oh. met him, you know, at, at that event. And uh, you know, he told me he was involved in music and he told me that he was always a fan, and that if, if it was any way that you know that he can get involved with me, you know, let, 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 let's sit down. And, you know, sometimes being an older artist, a lot of older artists always feel that they got the formula down 100%. You know, it, it's it, it's kind of it's kind of funny how you got to approach older artists because a lot of them take you telling them what to do is, oh, you you, you think I don't know? And, like, my, my, my thing in life is that you always can learn. You're never too old to learn. You know, you're never too old to learn. And... I, I thought, well, you know, I'm, I like this dude, Doughboy. I see what he's doing. He was doing some joints with Rock Marcy and Alchemist and everybody like that. And I said, you know, l- let me get his approach and let me get a younger ear sometimes to, to 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 keep you fresh and motivated. And that's that that that's what I think helped me do this album because I was motivated again because you know I had a, another ear on into it, a, a younger ear that would appeal to a a, a kind of a young still my 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 demographic but part of that demographic also and you know i wanted to just try something different i didn't want to always be set because a lot of times you know if you set in your ways it'll, it'll sound the same all the time you know so i didn't want to get caught in that and I, and I just needed something new and fresh yeah yeah and we're all better off for it that, mm-hmm. that you took that risk and uh i appreciate that a lot do you have a time for one more question about that yeah, album? yeah you could, I, I can go for a while mm-hmm. okay, okay cool um, I'm really, uh, everything I was supposed to get stood out to me as, well, I get a standout track and I don't usually go for like drumless tracks or low drum tracks, but it set the perfect stage for, for rock and for crime apple and you to just like a slice of life, like, um, a day in the life of a person who lives this lifestyle and then a day in the life of the person who lives this other lifestyle and kind of learning from each other. And so how did that come together? How does a song like that come together? I'm really interested in that creative process. Well, I've been, I see, I knew Rock, man, for for a long time, man. And the, the, the funny thing about Rock is that, you know, when he was coming out at first, you know, it was at a time when, nobody really sounded like him and and those beats wasn't like that then like you know i'm like it, it's to a lot of people he and those beats sounded strange you know if you listen to him you make dude this is kind of odd like i don't know man. but something about him i knew i was like yo yeah. he's gonna come it's gonna be his time in a, in, in a minute and, and he gonna do some stuff and, and gradually it grew it grew it yeah. grew into where he is now man it where he he kind he fathered another chamber in hip hop. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Like if you in, in the book of hip hop, there's going to be a Rock Marcy chapter now of, of right. what he did and the sound that he did, which a lot of dudes fell into. And I wanted to try, you know, one of those beats without the drums. I said, let me see if I could do something on this. And on this one, I wanted I wanted one of them to go first, rhyming. And 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 uh and Crime Apple went first. Yeah. So I'm listening to his stuff. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I'm gonna approach this like he done came with something that's totally way over here, and then <laughs> and then scandalous TF came with something that was over there. I said, "How am I gonna go 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 blend this in?" And yeah. I sat with it for a night and and and, and smoked something. And next thing I know, boom, it came out, man. Where there see that's what the, it, that's what I was looking for, like a challenge, man. Like yeah. this album was challenge a, a, a series of challenges for me, and and that's what I think, man. Keeps hip hop. To me, fresh and new is when you challenge yourself and break away from the norm sometimes. Yeah. You know, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Bo. And, and that's fresh and new. That is exactly what I thought when I heard that album. It was just something about that album. Just it's it's just fresh and new. That's what it is. You know, yeah. it's a little different. It's not too some artists are like experimenting in so left field. You have to like sit down, set aside time to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but it's it's different enough that makes it stand out from the others. And I really like the production 
on yeah. the album. It's I don't oh, know, man. It's, it's a li- like I said, it's it's not totally different, but it's different enough that it's yeah, exactly. out, you know, it's really, mm-hmm. really, really good. So my it's man Stole, he did a lot of the mixing, like so he did a lot of stuff, man, as far as the you know, the adding the ideas and, and some of the interludes, you know, you know, they they jazzed it up, you know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. it, you know, and it made it it made me open my eyes and say, okay, well, you know, now I know to do things like this. And that's part of the learning and the maturation of this whole game. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And the yeah. album is called, if you have not heard it, the album called Science of Life uh, yeah. by Sadat X. And so check it out. It's anywhere you listen to music, you'll be able to find it. There Did you, you go. Put, is, it, is it on CD or, or vinyl? No, it's not okay. on CD or vinyl yet, but I'm getting yeah. ready to press up some because, you know, a lot of DJs been asking me for it. Plus, man, vinyl right. is always good, man. You know, vinyl's it's always, always you know. If you put it on CD, I will get a copy for sure. I get it too. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that too, I'm, man. Like, I'm I, like those people old like this. CD heads. You know, it's it's cool digital, man. But sometimes you like to have the physical copy, yeah. man. I remember you get one and you just look at the writing and oh, and man. who did what on yep. it, man. And that that made it part of the experience. Like you can look right. at it on the computer, but it's not the same to actually have it in your hand, man. That's right. It is not the same. It's not the same. Well, listen, so dot X, we we do one thing on this show. Uh, at the end where we invite our guests to look at some classic albums okay. uh, that we know they rock with and ask them to respond to it in one word or less. All right. All right. Is that cool with you? Yes, sir. Right. I'm going to play this little intro piece here okay. uh, real quick. And uh, that pro pro found it. Here's, here goes the intro. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Party people in the house. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. In this portion of the show, we'll show an assortment of hip-hop albums and challenge our guests to describe them in one word or less. <laughs> do you accept the challenge? All right, do you accept the challenge to Dot X? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's okay. do it. All right. Now, what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to show you albums um, that we have shown other artists and gotten their reaction, but we want to go to the source of it. All, all right. right. No gonna, question. We're, gonna, we're just going to go down the line. All right. So right here, we got Foundation. Ooh, yeah. One word. How would how do you respond to this in one word? Uh rebirth. Rebirth. Okay. Rebirth. Mm-hmm. Can you can you quickly take us through just a little bit of that rebirthing? Cause the cause you disbanded for a minute, but then came right. back. Yeah, man. That was uh when we when we came back together, you know, um, we was always cool, but then we came back together musically and as a group. And like I that album was uh especially cool for me because we did all the writing and we sat together like for a lot of that, a major part of that in the studio, we was all at the sessions. It wasn't like one person came at another time and we all was there. We, we, we toured on that album. Definitely. That was, that was a fan. That was a favorite. Yeah. That's what I remember the night, the day this came out, it came out with like uh, tribe also came out with an Mm -hmm. album, a few others. And I remember getting this in Tribe and thinking, all right, I know the Tribe album is going to be dope. I just know it. Mm-hmm. Brand Nubian, they, they've not been back together for an album for yeah, a minute. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know yeah. cool. And I remember listening to this from beginning to end, just being so inspired. Like, man, they did it. They came back. Yeah, dope. Put out a dope album. So thank no you for question. that. All right. all right, here we go. This is Everything is Everything. Everything is Everything. It was, it was to me, it was cool, but... I thought we needed to put more East Coast on it, man. I think we went mm. a little too West on it. Yeah. On a couple of joints. Yeah. Like I, I thought that, that that we could have we could have put a couple of more harder joints on there. Okay. That's inter- that's an interesting mm. response. I wasn't expecting that. Mm. And there's some people that I've seen on Facebook say that this is their favorite brand new. Yeah, I know, so, I know, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Well, that, that cover image is so iconic too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. do like that cover. Yeah. I was like, what what is going on? Do you know what yeah, you're yeah. eating there? Yeah, we was rolling up a little something. I remember that day. Oh. <laughs> In Jamal's car, definitely. All right. Next one is In God We Trust. Yeah, now that was a uh, oh, that was the proven ground right there. Yeah, because yeah. uh, we had just broke up with Pooba, you know, and a lot of people didn't know what we was gonna do. You know, Pooba, being that he had been out already as an artist, you know, he already had a little bit of notoriety. Uh, people knew of him more, you know. So like, we had to prove that like we wouldn't, we weren't just hangers on. Like we was here and we could actually stand on our own ground. Yeah, and and you certainly did that. Such a mm-hmm. good album. Yeah. All right, two more. One for all. By oh, Brandon. this was this was like, ooh, this was uh, <laughs> it, 
I got to think of the right word. This was like, man, like. Indescribable. Man, it was like family. You know what I mean? Man, it was okay. family. Because uh, sometimes we have to go to the studio. You know, we might not have, we might have spent all our money on food and get something to drink and have to take the train back to New Rochelle and Metro North. And, you know, we, we scrape, sometimes have to hide in the bathroom or whatever, man, just to get up top, man. And that was family, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Right on, right on. Well, last one. Because it's one of my favorites. We already showed you once, but Wild Cowboys by Sadat. I would say the most fun. Like those most sessions, fun. Those sessions that we did, like all those dudes in that picture would be there. The one on in the left of me, but with the, with the bowler hat on, with the cane, he cut hair. So we'd be getting haircuts in the studio, and you know, mm-hmm. Alamo was in there telling jokes, and it was it was just like a like a twenty four hour party, man. It was it, that's the most fun doing an album I've had of, of any of them. Man, that's dope, man. That, that's that's good to hear because I love that album, man. Love no it, question. So, right on. Uh, and what do you have coming up next, man? What are you working on? Well, right now, man, I'm, I'm getting some beats together. You know, I, I still uh, got a couple of people that's on my my bucket list. Uh, okay. I already seen Alchemist. And I told mm-hmm. him, I said, before I stop this thing, you know, you definitely, I, I, I need something with you. I'm getting ready to, uh, I, Muggs is going to hit me with a couple of joints. Okay. You no, know, um, Diamond uh, said he got something for me. And I'm probably I'm going to look for one or two like up and coming producers, man, because, you know, I feel man, each one teach one, man. And, you know, if somebody some when I was like this, somebody grabbed my hand and pulled me up. So I'm going to try to pull somebody up also. Man, that's dope. I love that. Thank mm-hmm. you for doing that. That's dope. no question. Well, it's a hip hop show. So we always end it by giving shout outs. So All right. we'll- We'll give a few around and then we'll we'll pass it off to you for the final right. shout outs. Cool. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. Uh Bo Brown, who you want to shout out tonight, man? I just want to shout out to everybody in the process of recognizing their greatness. Mm, that's nice. Oh, I feel that. I feel that. Thank you, Bo. Uh Pro, man, who you want to shout out? Man, I want to shout out Brother Sadat X, man. All of all of these years, man, and still doing it. I'm thankful that you came by the show, man. Got the opportunity to chop you up, even though I had some technical difficulties, man. But um, I'm I'm happy, man, and, and you're very inspiring, man, and this is inspiring as well to push me along. So I'm yeah. shouting you out today, shouting hip hop out, Chicago. You know how we do it, and the t- and Till and the crew. Yeah, thanks, bro. And I want to shout out Iomas Marad, who's a, a, a huge fan of yours. Uh, Sadat X couldn't be here tonight, but shout out Iomas Marad, Joe November, uh, Big Stowe. Appreciate you, fellas. Shout out Kid Abstract. Uh, who's going to be joining the show here in a few weeks. Uh, the tall guys uh, be coming through. The other guys, rather not the tall guys, the other guys, uh, great production duo. We like uh, tall guys. Coming through. I like the tall guy. Yeah, he's a dope uh, producer too, but the other guys are going to be coming through. So shout out to them. And uh, shout out to all brand Nubian and spe- specifically Dot X tonight. Shout yeah. out to you. Thank you again for your decades of, of inspiration and music to us. Really appreciate you. And thank you for uh, taking some time. I know you got a lot going on and no doubt. Birds. So thank you for taking some time and sharing a little bit with yourself, uh, with our sharing some of yourself with us tonight. So thank you. And with no, that, I'll, I'll turn it over to you for the final right. shout outs. Well, first of all, I'm going to give a shout out to you guys for uh, having me on the show. Give me a platform to speak for a little while. I want to shout out uh, all all rappers who do it for them from the heart and for the love of it. You know, the karma you throw out there is the karma you'll get back. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to give a shout out to Duke Riley Hospital, uh, where I work at, man, all the, the, the nurses and doctors and, you know, all workers there and, and the patients. And I want to give a shout out to parents that are raising their children to uh, judge each person on uh, each person on their merit and not their color. You understand mm-hmm. that uh, that are uh, that are teaching the babies because see the babies are innocent until taught otherwise. You understand, so teaching them the, the right and fair and righteous way to live. Yes, right on. Well yeah. said. And on that note, we say peace, 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 peace. Yes, peace y'all. Peace, peace y'all. X. All right, respect. Yup, yup. Sure.